Hello YouTube, it is I, Pocket Gamer here, bringing you a new exciting episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. On our last episode, we encountered Yuga in one of the Eastern Pal- in the Eastern Palace, just to find out that he kidnaps our- Uh... Whatever that guy was, <laughs> the guy with the sand rod. And in this episode, uh, we died. <laughs> Great way to start the episode, Pocket Gamer. Anyways... I think he might lend it to us again for 10 rupees. Yes, okay. That's good. At least I know that. Besides that, we're going off today to the northern area of Hyrule. Oh, and we also acquired the power gauntlets, which will actually help us a lot in this journey. So, let's get, a, let's get on to it. Uh... Tonight's episode is going to be different because we are going to be ruby grinding. Reason because I, like I said many times in my previous videos, this is like New Super Mario Bros. 2 but in Zelda format. Reason because we're going to need to be buying items directly from Ravio that he's going to be selling soon. Not yet, but soon. And reason because, well, we need items for this game. Without items, this game will be boring and pointless, and I forgot. That's the easiest way you can kill someone. Let this guy follow us. Let's see if we kill this guy. No, this guy takes two hits. There we go. Oh, that's right. We got the power gauntlet, so now we can collect that one piece of heart that's right here in Hyrule Castle. And there you go. Piece of heart number one. There we go. We're off to a good start. Oh, actually, we can go get that extra piece of heart that I know where it is. I know where it is. Let me just go over there. I guess we should be collecting pieces of a heart now that we got a few items that can actually help us trigger the events to get it. Uh, but I should hurry because I don't want to die. <laughs> Besides that. Um, yeah. It's just still the same night that I recorded my previous episode, so I got nothing much to talk about. But besides that, yeah, I saw over there the power piece of heart was behind this building. So now that we have our morphing ability, we got it behind it and piece of heart number two. Like I said, walk through. This is gonna be 100%. All items, all hearts. So that's why I said it. we're gonna be rupees. A lot of rupees. You guys saw me die already, so <laughs> yeah, I already spent 10 rupees on the item that. I need for this next um, area. Besides that, let's start heading off. Was there a point for me getting the power gun in this last episode? Yes. We, at least we don't have to worry about getting it later. But is there a reason <laughs> why I'm not using him? Why I'm not using the purpose for them? I don't know. Anyways, let's head up here. Be careful. Like I said, the, each enemy gives you two heart damage, so you want to be extra careful with this mode. Uh, I'm so. Uh, this is really dangerous. Thankfully, I saw my save. So let's go on, continue moving. I'm wearing an upward. 600 rupees, 700 actually, with the next rupee that I collect. This is going out so far, so good. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> There's my next death. Death counter 4, I believe. I think I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be putting a death counter. <laughs> Just to show you guys how it is. Besides that, let's take the route that I've got the freaking box for. Besides that. Um... I just hope this isn't going to be too many tests, because I swear, that's way too many. Besides that, uh, this is going to be a long LP, so get you guys pants ready and get ready to enjoy the and explore the vast high rule of Link from the Past, Link to the Past, and I keep on forgetting I don't have the Master Sword. Oh gosh, terrifying. 
sadly we do not ha have the item that we need. Take that. Give me that stupid bush. Oh, it takes three hits because we swung in with a four. If we use our sword, it'll take four hits for him. He says that we're about to reach the area that we need to go. Get out of here. I don't want you. Alright. We're gonna be okay. Brent, this is gonna be a good run. Don't worry about it. Get your get your bow ready. Because you need it to kill these guys. Ah. B. Oh no, we forgot to get that one item. We'll get it as soon as we're done. As soon as we get our next bird. There we go. We need to collect an item that helps us collect bees. Or actually, we don't even have a bottle yet, I think. Let me check. That's the wrong button. No, we don't have a bottle yet, so there's no point of collecting bees until we go over there. Oh, that's right, I remembered, because we didn't have 100 rupees at the time, so... Actually, I don't even know why I'm saying this. You guys didn't even see where the bottle was. First bottle is located in Kakario Village. I'll put the counter right there in just a few moments. Give me just a second, guys. Uh, as soon as we get over there, I'll put the counter. Besides that, I'm also going to put a list, uh, an item list, so. I guess. I mean, there shouldn't be an, an optional item list. Not the optional item. I'm just saying the optional item. The, act, the purchase item. The, I'm just going to put a list for every time I actually have the item for me myself to keep so and whenever I upgrade him so that's how it's the whole I'm gonna make a counter system basically that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm saying besides that we're close to reaching our break limit so give me the second guys or we are almost there so I don't know why I ignored it <laughs> we're almost there and we're going to get into triggered a cutscene. No, it's a, it's not a cutscene, but it's just a small little video clip of a guy just running in and out of a cave. And you guys see what's going on inside that cave right now. So, he runs and boom. Besides that, we're almost to the cutscene, so let's go inside and see the queen. What a queen! <laughs> she is the Sora queen, and trust me when I say this is not her final look, so let's get closer and talk to these guys right here. I'm surprised these robots don't, don't are not attacking me because usually like you guys see sometimes some of them just jump out of the water and they attack me for some reason. And she gets fatter. So let's just go ahead and talk to these guys right now in just a few moments. Actually, I'm gonna trigger pause time right here. So before we start talking to these guys, it's pause time. Give me just a few moments, guys. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about for that shaking. All right, guys, I'm back. So besides that, let's talk to these guys. So they're saying we need to find this golden gem. Oh my god. I barely realized the item binds won't be happening pretty soon because we need to buy this mood gem from a specific merchant. And we'll see that merchant in a few minutes, so. Let's talk to the queen. <laughs> so, besides that, let's head out and get that gem. And. So let's go ahead and use the bell on that one because it's literally across the map. So we need to go 
Um, we need to go buy that gem, so we're here, and let's go talk to the man. And, oh, there's a bottle. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. let's buy this item. Sure. This is not ours for keep, so I keep that in mind. And after that, we got bottle one. Pointed right there in the top of the screen. Besides that, first item that we actually acquired. So let's head off. And you guys might notice he's the guy that is going to help us with the specific item that we need for this whole journey. So painting, boom, scare him. <laughs> it's hilarious. Besides that, so he sold it to. He's saying he's gonna tell us I sold it to that guy, but we already brought it in high price. I don't think so. It was only like 300 rupees, 200 rupees for the bottle, and, um, 100 rupees for the bottle, and 200 for the gem. Besides that, we're almost there. So he gives us the boots. We finally get the. Pegasus boots. We hold L and we'll be able to break into a man dash. There you go. So, it, since I know how to use the boots now, it's not too hard for me. Besides that, let's go ahead and ring the bell and let's go return the smooth gem to the queen. Besides that, um, I hope we did a lot of progress in this episode. Because that I'm noticing, I am doing quite a bit of progress now and then. Thank me. And thank you guys for helping me support the videos. Also, 150. Well, I finally made it. You guys are amazing. 155 and counting. So what you want to do all, most of the time is hit the um, hit trees. Because they contain either items... Or bees or rupees. Oh, we forgot to get that other item. Dang it. We'll get it once we go back to because we will need to go back to Kakaria for more rupees. So, besides that, let's head off into the Zora fountain. Oh, you guys might notice Zoras. What the heck are these things for all of you new Zelda comers? Um, these were the original Zoros, that's how they look like for those who are brand new to the Zelda series. They're green, they're evil sometimes, and they hurt you. And I don't know why they hurt you. Some of them hurt you, not all of them. And besides that, let's head on. We can't swim yet, but thankfully, after this scene, we'll be able to get an item that will help us swim. So... He's like, throw it in the pool, hurry. I never said don't draw it. I was put draw it because I don't know what might happen. I'm not sure if they might attack us or something. He says that. Cutscene time. Well, not cutscene, but. There you go. There's your real Zora thing. See, there you go. He says that. She gives a. She just. Oran, there you go. That's her name. She is going to be an important character in the series, so just keep in mind of her. And she will give us the smooth gem. Oh, since we gave her the smooth gem, she is going to give this. And this is the best item you can get in the game, honestly. The Zora flippers tend to jump in with both feet because um, you you're, you're tired of just jumping in the water by accident. You started to drown. Well, guess what? Now you have the ability to swim. So there you go. You get the Zora flippers after um, after doing this mission. I we need to get these. Not here. Oh, it's up here. We need to get some parts because we don't want to die. So let's head out and let's try these new Zora flippers. 
Alright, I think we did a lot of progress in this episode because we got we got our bottle, we got two pieces of heart, we got uh, we finished defeating the first um, boss, and I think there's this piece of heart in here as well. Yes, there you go, third piece of heart. And yeah, so much progress this episode. Jeez, I'm amazed with myself. Uh, I'm gonna try to hurry because we're about to reach the limit soon. So, or actually, am I near the area where I need to go? No. I'll show you guys where the next bottle is in the next episode. Or can I do it just now? Sure, why not? Let's head off. I need to go to more our house because we need to jump in the water and it's a lot of swimming. So, yeah, we got about three minutes tops before. We ran out of time, so let's head on. Or actually, we should try to Pegasus Fruits. There's Ravio Sign saying we are now starting to sell the shop, but I'll show you guys the shop in the next episode. So, yeah. Let's hurry up to get away from this bird. Besides that, yeah, I think we may make it in a, into the under the bridge area so I think that's gonna be the last thing we're gonna do before I end the episode so there you go quiet we talk to this guy bird lover I like birds I like this guy, he's like, he like immediately freaks out at this point watch. He's like, this bottle washed up here a little ways back and now you come on by, exciting day for me. Too much excitement, I gotta admit. I like these things to stay nice and simple, just me and the birds here. So do we do me a favor, take this bottle with you. <laughs> It'll do my nerves good. He doesn't want a bottle because he can't accept change. There you go, bottle number two. Sadly, we can't go inside his tent. Besides that, let's just go ahead, jump out. Let's go to our save area. So yeah, we did quite a bit of progress today. So we got two bottles. We got three pieces of heart. We got um, the Zora flippers. A lot of progress. Jeez. All right, guys. Next, I guess that's gonna end our episode. So next time on Let's Play the Legend of Zelda: Link Between Worlds. We're going off and we're going to head off into the real first dungeon for reals. We're going to head off into the dungeon that awaits us in the Zora. Well, not the Zora River, but the Zora in the, in the lake, basically. So, yeah. There's your bird. There's your signal. Oh, and before I end it, we are going to head off and we're going to come inside Ravio's shop. AKA our house. Besides that, this is I Gamers here saying guys good night, be careful, and enjoy your day. Or night or whenever you see this video. Besides that, yeah. Alright, see you guys later.